Hello there and welcome to Football Everyday Euro 2012 edition. I'm your host Zach and in the studio with me, we've got the classic Football Everyday crew, Sean Orange, Brian Martin. We're also joined by our mate from Carlsberg, Soren Rav. All right, Soren. Hey, how are you? Mate, nice to have you on the show. So you've been enjoying the Euros, definitely, right? I mean, with all these events Carlsberg's got going on. Yeah, absolutely. It's been yeah. a great start in terms of uh, football, in terms of partying mm. and in terms of Denmark, of course. Of course, mate. We're going to get you uh, on a lot of da Danish chat a little later on, but we're going to kick off with the analysis of last night's matchups from Group A, second round and matches there. The opening match of the night saw a really tasty encounter between the Czechs and the Greeks. I tell you what, Brian, the Czechs are alive once again, mate. They saved yeah, themselves. Um, you know, and uh, we were talking yesterday about revenge being on the Czech mind. Yes. You know? After what happened in 2004, when they were knocked out of the semi-final, mm -hmm. and revenge is exactly what they got. Yeah. And if you look at uh, the group, it's totally open because any team, even Greece, with one point, could actually go through depending on the outcome of the final matches. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's what we we're watching the Euros for uh, matchups like this, right? Really tasty group. It's all yeah. wide open. Sean, mate, that Czech man Pilar, he seems to be the diamond in the pack for the Czechs. His second goal of the tournament there. I, I, I think so. I think I think he's, um, um, mm. he knows where he is. He's, he's found his space. Mm. I think, um, uh, not, but not only him, um, coming off the defeat that they did, they came back nicely. Um, the conviction was there. Mm, mm. The conviction was there. And uh, once, you, once you start playing like that, I think they can only get better in the sense that uh, once, the, once they, they gather a bit more, me more momentum, I know uh, the like Prime is saying, the group is, might be a little open. Yeah. But I think they, they stand themselves in good stead at the moment, yeah. Okay, excellent stuff. Well, i tell you what, uh, Brian, the Greek goalie, Chalkis, we've got to talk about him. He didn't cover yeah. himself with glory. Yeah, but <laughs> neither did Perecek. Yes. I mean, the, the, the goal for, uh, mm. for Greece, I think that was one of the worst blunders. Yes, you know? yes, a soft goal to say the least. Yeah. But the thing is, for the Greeks, Chalkis, he picked up an injury. Um, in doubt for the last game of the, the group as well. So uh, a bit of a nightmare. But I tell you what, uh, Sean, the Czechs also had their share of injury with uh, captain and playmaker Thomas Ruzicki having to go for the suspected Achilles tendon yeah. injury. Now that sounds yeah. serious. Yeah, I think um, they, they will be worried. Actually, yeah. I, I, no, no doubt the management staff will actually be alarmed by this because Ruzicki has uh, come into the tournament with pretty decent form. He played in the first game, he, he made himself, um, you know, um, they, they knew that he was there. And um, for him, for them to lose him in the third game, which will be quite crucial, mm. I, I think it could well be a, a serious setback for them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, big blow for the Czechs there. Yeah. Well, sorry, mate, you've been paying attention to this group, I'm sure. Just want to ask you, the Greeks, mate, any chance for them to uh, save themselves? Of course, there's always a chance. And I think especially for smaller team like, uh, like Denmark and Greece, this is the tournament where everything can happen. You know, 92, it was Denmark a few, uh, few rounds after, it was Greece. Mm. Never say never, it, it looked very bleak for Denmark back in 92. And then uh, suddenly, you know, you, you get hit by the atmosphere and, and you understand that this is the game to win. Mm. Everything can happen. Mm -hmm. That's why we love football, you know, not the best team always wins, right? Yeah. So, uh, okay, in the late game of the group, uh, Polish captain, Jake, Jacob Bleszczykowski, <laughs> that's a lovely name there. That's well done, actually. <laughs> he scored a stunning goal to earn Poland a share of the sports against Russia. Now, the match was marred before kickoff by fighting between both sets of supporters, but thankfully, the football on the pitch was equally as feisty. So, I'll tell you what, Brian, superb goal by the Polish skipper. I won't yeah. say his name again, but what a goal that was. Can we just call him Blazy? Yeah, <laughs> Blazy, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I yeah. tell you, the Poles, Brian, determined a lot yesterday. Yeah, they were, yeah. they were, they were I mean, up for it. I think national pride was at stake. And yeah. you could see that even before the, before the game, the, the, the fracas, the, the problems that they had before the game with, with the cops. Mm. Uh, but once the match started, Russia was we all, we were obviously favourites after the first match. Mm. And uh, they deservedly went ahead uh, mm. to uh, Zagayev. Yeah. Zagayev. Uh, but like you said, the Poles are one determined lot. Mm. And uh, that man, Blasi. Yeah. <laughs> Blasi that, has to be the goal of the tournament so far. So far, yeah. definitely. What well, was well, Sean, that man, Zarko, yeah, well, he came good for the Russians once again. Now, yeah. this guy is a uh, top scorer in the tournament at the moment. You like the looks of him? Oh, absolutely. Possible I think Man City signing for next season? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that's, a, that's, a, that's up for debate. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's, he's, look, he's looking pretty sharp. The, the Russian team itself is looking pretty sharp. Mm. They didn't look uh, as sharp to me uh, <coughs> yesterday as they did in the first game. Yeah. But given, um, but the, the polls gave them more of a game. I mean, it was a it was a tough tough old battle yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it would have been because uh, Poland is playing at home. 
But when you when you play like uh, our Russia played in the first game, and you come into your second game, you certainly can't play as well as that in the next game. Mm -hmm. I, I would I would like to see them play like that in the quarters and the semi-finals. Yeah. Okay, excellent stuff. Well, so on now, Group A seems wide open right after last night's round of uh, uh, results. How do you see the group playing out? It's an interesting one. Yeah, I think it is. And I think, uh, of course, now we're getting uh, hungry as Denmark, so we start to look at who could we meet in the, in the yeah. coming games and yeah, things like yeah. that. I think uh, Russia looks scary. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. do look they scary. Do scary. Uh, one, yeah. one to avoid, I guess. Yeah, right? I think so. Okay, well, hold on to your thoughts, lads. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, we're going to be previewing tonight's round of matches. So keep it locked right here, football every day. Welcome back to Football Everyday Euro 2012 edition. Okay, tonight's early Group B encounter sees Denmark conquerors of Holland in the last round square up against the mighty Portugal, or not so mighty Portugal as the case may be. Now, Soren, your Denmark, well, they've surprised everybody, right? Yeah. With that win against Holland. Uh, no one really fancied Denmark going into the tournament, but I um, mean, here you are, one game away from a qualification into the knockout. Now, can Lightning strike three times, uh, twice actually? for yeah. the Danish this evening? I think it can. I yeah. think everything is open now. I think uh, the Danish players definitely had the confidence. Nobody expected this. Yeah. This still will be the underdogs tonight. Everybody expect Portugal to come back. It would be a big disaster for them to be knocked out after two games. Mm. They'll definitely give everything they have. I think that's good for Denmark. We have the uh, element of surprise again. We didn't play a great, uh, great game against Holland. We played mm -hmm. a decent game. We had the luck. Mm. But I think we can play better football tonight and maybe surprise everybody again. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's really interesting because uh, going into the tournament, like I just said, you know, no one really fancied Denmark, but there's a sort of odds that you guys seem to enjoy, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, like uh, no one looks at Denmark and no. then you slowly slide through all the, all the, uh, uh, the your opponents. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's 20 years ago it happened, uh, you know, in Sweden where we beat yeah. Germany. You were wild, speaking of yeah. the Jesse. Yeah, 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 the <laughs> wild card, right? I, I, yeah. I remember yeah. Denmark weren't even meant to be in the tournament. No, yeah. no, sure. and, and uh, no pressure at all. You know, getting all the players in from the vacations across the world, getting yeah. the team together. They hadn't played together, but we had Peter Smigel, we had Brian Lautrup, mm. and uh, we got the collective uh, mm. team to work for us. Mm. And I think we have a similar situation here. We're coming out with, uh, with no expectations. We already beat Holland. Everybody said Holland is definitely one of the semi-final yeah. uh, contenders and, and we beat them in the first game and mm. uh, and uh, we didn't play great football I think mm. we can play better than that we still uh, I'm very much looking forward to Christian Eriksen mm. uh, the young Dane I think yeah. he could be the player of the game tonight okay yeah. well you know uh, speak about the, the greats like La the Laudrup brothers and that now. but uh, to be to be honest I don't see somebody of Laudrup's quality in the Danish team at the moment so who, who no. would be who would be your person to, to look I would at. Uh, I would watch Christian Eriksen. He's yeah. definitely he has the talent and he will grow uh, with the tournament. It's his first uh, first real tournament and and I think he will grow with it. I think tonight could be a breakthrough for him and possibly against Germany. I think Niklas Bentler is a good striker. Mm -hmm. I think uh, mm -hmm. you know he's always dangerous. He if only he was nothing. as good as he thought he was. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, it'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but uh, he can surprise and he can be totally invisible in uh, in 89 minutes and then he can score a fantastic goal in the yeah. 90th. Yep. So so never write him off. So I think those those are the two. And then I think we have a fantastic keeper. Maybe not Michael yet, but he's definitely coming. I saw a lot of uh, experts putting him on on all-star teams and things like that. Yeah, I think he uh, he can save us in a tough game like Portugal. Okay. Well, speaking of the Portuguese, Bri, it's make or break for the Portuguese yeah. this evening. Surely time for your man, Ronaldo, to show that he yeah. is a world-class player on the big stage. Yeah, you know, he is a world-class player, but the, the fact, the point with Ronaldo is he doesn't really show up for the big games, uh, whether for Real Madrid or for Portugal. And, and against uh, Germany the other night, he didn't show up, you mm. know? Mm. Uh, the thing about uh, Portugal is they've put Ronaldo on the left and Nani on the right. Maybe the coach may decide to actually put Ronaldo in the center where he plays mm -hmm. up front for like uh, he plays up front for Real Madrid. That could be a difference. Okay, okay. Well, Sean, the goals have to come from Portugal somehow this evening, but uh, I don't think it's going to come from that man Postiga who looked anything but sharp in the last yeah. game. But Coach Car uh, Paulo Bento, he's going to stick with Postiga this evening. 
good move for yeah, you, mate? I, I think I think he should. Um, the fact that, um, uh, like you're saying, uh, maybe uh, he's been a bit off color. Mm. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you can't uh, go uh, out and, and, and knock in two when you really need to. Mm. And they really need to beat Denmark this evening. They, they, don't, they don't need a draw. Mm. A draw yeah. will be of inconsequence to uh, uh, what, what the plan is. But um, going back to um, uh, Brian's issue about Ronaldo, I think uh, I, I um, don't like the teams that he played for, <laughs> but I, I, I do like the fella as a player. Yeah. I think he's a quality player. Yeah. Now, quality players, when you when you get to um, the the two big tournaments, the Euro, you, the Euros and the World Cup, you're normally supposed to stand up. Actually, uh, Ronaldo has got a chance to do that uh, at this tournament. He's got an excellent chance to do that tonight. Now, whether he does that tonight uh, is another matter. Personally, I think if he can lead them a little, like how he has done at Real Madrid. In Portugal, I've got a chance. Yeah, okay, definitely. I mean, on paper anyway, Portugal looked the superior outfit, yeah. but football's not played on paper. Okay, on the second match of the night, battle between two titans of European football. Right, it's do or, do, do or die time for the yeah. Dutch, mate. They need to start scoring or face an early exit. Yeah, I mean, uh, coming into the tournament, the Dutch were the favourites. One yeah. of the favourites, together with Spain, together with Germany. But uh, against Denmark, you know, we had someone like Robin Van Persie totally misfiring up front. Mm -mm. You know, the wealth of attacking talent the Dutch have. Yeah. You would, would not think that, you know, they would be going into this game against Germany, once again, just like Portugal, needing a win. Yeah, yeah. The draw would serve them no purpose at all. Yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 it's crunch time for the Dutch. Now, Sean, mate, uh, Germany have lost the middle match of their group in the past two major tournaments against Croatia at Euro 2008 yeah. and against Serbia at the 2010 World Cup. Now, did you know that stat and can lightning strike three times? Well, well, actually, somebody told me that stat earlier. Really? It's a but, smart um, <laughs> but, but the thing, I, I wanted to go back to Holland, uh, yeah. if, if I could just very briefly. Uh, uh, Holland, even if they lose their first game like they did, it doesn't necessarily mean that they cannot win the tournament. Mm -mm. And even if they draw tonight, if they beat Portugal, they could still go get through to the quarters. And after that, it's um you know it's it's knockout so mm -hmm. i don't i don't think uh, a lot should be made about uh, the loss to denmark with due respect to denmark yeah. i think uh, for denmark it's excellent what Holland need to do now is they need to leave that behind them and uh, just play germany at their own game okay. beat them yeah all right excellent well son uh last one for you mate the germans are one of the favorites for the tournament for sure. as we all know as always so how have you rated their performance so far? Do they look like potential champions to you? They're just warming up. Germany, <laughs> is, uh, yeah. Germany is there. They're going to knock out uh, Holland tonight and they're going to join Denmark for the next round, for sure. Oh. All right, yeah. but <laughs> can't say anything. Confident words. Like, well, yeah. well, sorry, mate. We would love to have you longer, but time is up. So thanks yeah. for visiting just us thanks, on the show. Thanks, good to be here. Bring thanks. some Carlsberg next time. Thank well, you. Let's do a wrap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you want to do us a wrap? You give me a beat, then I'll do a wrap. I'll try and give you a beat. Come up to Carlsberg, whoever you are Carlsberg, give it the best seat in the bar Everybody out there can be part of the game So come up to party with a long cool thing I love you Carlsberg when the dust kick in Can't live without it when I'm cool with friends Always been there, always been here Party with the star, throw your hands in the air <laughs> Alright, good When we'll be on tour at a bar near you very <laughs> soon. Until next time, enjoy your football. Football every day. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs> you, 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 you can <laughs> practice this before yeah. you go. <laughs>